is we actually wake up in the morning as sovereign human beings and we start caring about the number of likes we got as if that's our goal in life. That becomes our goal. And it's as if we've been infected. It's as if we've, you know, they've drilled a hole in the back of our head and now they've injected the virus and now we walk around searching for feedback using social media. We know that engagement with social media and our cell phones releases a chemical called dopamine. Dopamine is the exact same chemical that makes us feel good when we smoke, when we drink, and when we gamble. In other words, it's highly, highly addictive. But um, we become more and more on the treadmill to the number of likes or, or, or feedback we get, basically, from social media and start tying our own approval, our own self-worth to how much attention we get from other people. What do we want in our lives and what is our self-worth actually tied to? And maybe it's being virtuous or uh, being a good friend or being, um, you know, caring about what matters uh, or living by our values. There's a whole bunch of things that we could define for ourselves. And I think the, the less people have defined their own values, the more vulnerable they are to someone else coming in and giving them uh, their values. People look like they have a much better life than they really do. People are posting pictures of when they're really happy. They're modifying those pictures to be better looking. People basically seem they're way better looking than they basically really are, and they're way happier seeming than they really are. So if you look at everyone on Instagram, you might think, all these happy, beautiful people, and I'm not that good looking and I'm not happy, so I'm a suck. Some of the happiest seeming people, actually some of the saddest people in reality. The answer isn't to stop making comparisons, because unfortunately we can't control that. But you have to change the object of your comparison, from someone else to yourself. You have to measure yourself against yourself. And by doing this, you start at a base point where you consider yourself to be perfectly fine, exactly how you are. But it also is the most effective, motivating and healthy way to work to improve yourself. You'll become your happier self when you stop putting pressure on yourself to be more like someone else and when you start comparing real to real. Hello, hello. So we're going to jump right into this tutorial, starting with the side piece um, that looks like muscles. And to do that, I did just smooth down my hair, put some glue on it, and then I am going to be putting latex on top of it. And trust me, this does wash out perfectly fine. I'm going to go ahead and glue down the side parts and then just cut off the excess of the latex um, basically to the part that I want it to be. Next, um, for any of my looks that are going to be any type of an illusion look, I like to go in with a white pencil and just kind of sketch out where the lines are going to be and then I'm going to block out the eyebrows with some glue again and just set it with a setting powder. And as you guys can see here, I'm just mapping out the lines of the muscles so I can see where it's going to lay. And then I'm going to be going in with a light pink paint and hitting the middles of the muscles and I did have a reference photo just to see where all the muscles lie and where the dark and lighter spots were. Once that's done, I will be going in with the NYX Professional SFX cream color paint and I will be laying the red down basically on the outer parts of the pink. Uh, I wanted the pink to be in the center where it's going to be lighter. Again, I looked at a reference photo so I'm just going to go ahead and lay the red down in all the darker spots. So it's a lot of back and forth with different colors. I am going in with a white in the center of the muscles just to uh, add a little bit more of a pop. And then I'm going to be going in with a darker red maroon color on top of the red and the pink just to add a little bit more depth and extending all of those red lines into the pink just to make it look really like it's muscle. And then for the white part, I'll be going in with the NYX Professional Makeup in Milk Jumbo Eye Pencil. And I will just be hitting all the spots that need to be white. 
Once that's done, I'll be going in with the Modern Dreamer palette from NYX Professional Makeup as well. And I will be picking up a light and darker yellow just to lay on top of that white part again to add more depth. So now that we got the basic muscle laid down, I'm going to be going in with the NYX Professional Makeup Vivid Brights Vivid Halo Eyeliner. And I'm going to start adding in different colors um, to the muscles so it doesn't look like your typical muscles. I wanted to add these in because I wanted it to make it seem like the wires that I'm going to be adding are basically coming out from my muscles. So it seems as if basically we are connected to our phones like through our muscles through our veins through everything so once that's done i'm going to start on the glam side i'm going to be going in with the nyx can't stop won't stop foundation and concealer and i'm just going to be putting that all over my face underneath the eyes and then blending that out Moving on, I'm going to be going in with the Sweet Cheeks Glow Blush. I'm going to be laying that down on the apples of the cheeks. And then the California Beaming Bronzer, I'm just going to lay that down on top of the contour to set it. And then I'm going to go in with the NYX Professional Fill in fluff brow pencil and I'm just gonna go ahead and outline my brow and then fill it in I'm gonna go in with the modern dreamer palette and start on the eyes starting with this bright pink and then doing a transition color of this pretty yellow and I'm gonna go ahead and cut the crease and then lay down this pretty turquoise bluish teal color Moving on to the lips, I'm going to be doing an ombre lip with the NYX Liquid Suede Lip Cream. I love this lip stick, you guys. It's so nice. Um, so I'm going to be going in with a deep red in Kitten Hills and then a pink in the center of it and blending it out. And then for lashes, I will be going in with Wicked Lashes in Doe Eyes and I will be setting that with mascara. And I'm going to go ahead and finish up on the muscle side. So I want to add more depth and make it seem as if it is underneath my face so I'm gonna be adding in a dark maroon color from the modern dreamer palette and then I'm gonna be adding these lines to the side of the muscle to seem as if my skin is being pulled back by adding brown and white lines and now it's time to connect the wires you guys I did have a hard time connecting these because they did not want to stick so with some glue and tape I finally got it to stick underneath my chin and I'm going to add those to my wrist as well and basically connect it to the back of my phone again to make it seem like I'm being connected to my phone as you guys see here. I also did add some to the ears as well. But I hope you guys enjoyed this look and this concept. I am in love with it. I hope you guys are too. And remember to go vote for me on the NYX professional makeup website voting is starting now so I need your guys' help to vote so please make sure you guys vote for me um, to get me into the top 15 as always thank you so much for watching and for all of the love and support and thank you in advance for voting I will see you guys in my next video bye